solidarity, we had a few performance, poetry and some music, dancing. We also put up a, our own little exhibition on the wall of the National Gallery. Unfortunately, we were told this is private property. I thought it wasn't privatized yet. They had to call the police to take out a few posters. Absolutely ridiculous. The DCMS, the Department of Culture, Media and Sport, is gradually cutting back on the money it gives to the museums and galleries. And what they're saying to the museums and galleries is we're going to cut back on the money we give you, but we're going to give you more freedoms. It's more freedom to stop acting as a cultural institution and start acting as a business. And that means outsourcing and privatising those staff who they think they can get away with it. The people that you see on the front desk, the people that do security, the people that look after the paintings and the exhibitions, the people that sell you the postcards, the cleaners. This is a message to the director and to the gallery. We are asking members to cancel their subscriptions if the gallery don't reverse their policies. I've worked in the NHS for over 30 years and I've seen what privatisation does. I think it's absolutely shocking they're trying to do it here. Back in the day, you could only go and see pictures if you went to the rich people's houses or the cathedrals. We've spent a hundred years amassing a brilliant collection that is so fantastic and is free for people to walk in. The ethos of the place is it's for everybody. That's exactly the same with health and both of these precious things in our country are being threatened at the moment. It's completely unacceptable that someone like Candy, a, an active member of PCS, should be victimized for her role in this, uh, in this campaign. It's not, it's not acceptable because it's designed to put on the back foot, not just PCS, but designed to put on the back foot every other union as well. And uh, we support entirely the uh, call for reinstatement for Candy. It's appalling to learn that uh, the, the workers in here don't even, get the, don't even get the London living wage, unlike every other gallery in London. And I think that typifies this neoliberal agenda that's increasingly dominant across the world that, that, that knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. One, two, three, four, Marchetti, no more. Five, six, seven, eight, Candy and win reinstate. Today we are marching to speak to the chairman of the National Gallery No way! 